When people enjoy a good education, they become more affluent. Their whole way of consuming changes. They have more time. They can afford more than basic subsistence. They begin to think about self-expression and what they say about themselves. Fair trade chocolate, it tells me that I care about other people or that I can afford to care. The Italian and the Brazilian menu choices tell me how worldly I am. The newspapers remind me how clever I am. And then we have the dazzling array of different coffee choices which says so much about oneself. I'll have a mocha with white chocolate, please. It's a funny thing, but the more affluent and the more educated consumers are, the more frivolous they tend to look. They seem to be more worried about the froth on the cappuccino than the coffee itself. And why not? If you've got enough coffee, maybe it's a bit of froth that you want. But there's a really interesting feature of modern economies. They tend to respond to those kinds of consumers. They adapt and produce things to serve the more trivial needs that rich consumers have. Douglas Adams puts it rather well in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'll paraphrase his line. There are three phases of human development. Will I eat? What will I eat? And where should we do lunch? Well, Britain is in phase three. 